Welcome back to the channel, folks. Thanks for stopping by. You're watching 412 PSC Customs here on YouTube. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Matt Senior. I am the founder and CEO of 412 Public Safety Equipment Customs. Uh, we are an emergency vehicle builder out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We specialize in customizing service vehicles for multiple industries, such as police, fire, emergency medicine, uh, utility, construction companies, you name it, we do it. Big or small, we do it all. Okay, so without further ado, uh, the product today that I wanted to take a, <clears throat> wanted to take a look at is the MS6 by Brooking Industries. Uh, now you may say, wow, that's a pretty familiar um, item, of course. It is. So the MS6 is a surface mount light. Comes in a couple different versions. Uh, you can get this in a hood slash trunk mount, which kind of has uh, the uh, the back of like an ion where it's kind of rounded, um, but it has kind of like a flat surface uh, that it mounts to. Um, I'm sure we've shown the Federal Signal micro pulse in the hood mount, trunk mount. So this is basically the same light. Uh, it's actually manufactured by the same company out in Taiwan. Um, they manufacture a lot of equipment for some top brands and Brooking Industries uh, just happens to be one of them. So Brooking Industries is a company which is basically a reseller. Uh, they rebrand equipment to their name and they distribute it out of Florida. A uh, pretty good company to deal with. Uh, they sell many items from surface mounts to light sticks to light bars. Um, as you'll know, the uh, brand Axis Tech is uh, basically their <clears throat> branded light bar. Um, this MS6 is a very powerful surface mount. Contains six LEDs behind uh, this fluted lens and there's also a TIR cone um, underneath that. So it gives you a real potent punch and then when it hits that outer lens uh, those flutes spread it out pretty wide. Uh, these are synchronizable. Um, they use kind of like the master slave um, type programming so um, they call them phases so you would set one of these to phase one and another one to phase two and uh, they would alternate obviously in that configuration um, so it comes in a box with of course the foam mounting gasket hardware with little rubber washer the light itself and of course the manual eighteen flash patterns. Like I said, you can program them and synchronize them um, to a flash simultaneous or alternating. And if we look at the back, there is the explanation of the um, hood mount slash trunk mount couple ways to uh, mount that version this isn't that version so we're not really going to dive into that too much this light here that I happen to have in front of us is in green and the reason it is in green is because it is earmarked for a command vehicle uh, we have actually 14 uh, fire department command vehicles that are on the pipeline um, they are projects and orders that are in signed sealed and delivered for 2020 and um, it's kind of funny how in Pennsylvania green does signify either government security 
or command. Uh, some fire departments use it, some fire departments don't. Some hazmat teams use it, some hazmat teams don't. So it's kind of a uh, toss up whether they're added to a project or not. Um, I would say probably half of our projects, uh, the command vehicle projects, have specified um, a green indicator. So this will go on a chief's truck and when he is in command of the fire scene um, he will flip a switch that is signified for command and we'll have a special set of lights on the truck that will illuminate in green so that everybody on the scene knows that that is the command post on that fire scene. So what I'd like to do is I have a pair of these wired up in a phase one phase two configuration and i'd like to go through the flash patterns and um, show you those in an alternating uh, situation all right so without further ado i'm going to pause this and get back here with those ready to fire all right guys so we have these in a random pattern which is the factory default and as you can tell they really don't synchronize very well in the random, and I'm guessing that is, um, I guess that's the intention. As you can tell, now they are synchronized. I think I have the one on the right backwards. That's why they look like they're simultaneous when they should be alternating. But you will notice that once we get into the solid flash patterns, If I turn the darkening filter on, if that would help out. How about we go through them uh, once without the filter? And then we'll do it with the filter see what happens and just to uh, speak a little bit about <clears throat> the reason why we like to use these uh, in a green application is uh, they're super bright very affordable and they perform very well um, for being a Taiwan made product. Um, they are very high quality. Um, same five year warranty you would get from any manufacturer. Those don't seem to be synchronized very well, do they? Ah, that's why, because they were alternating off a little bit. So there you can see the definite phase one, phase two alternation.
There's your California Title 13. Alright, so let's turn the darting filter on and go through these again. As you can tell, I'm guessing some of these patterns are not meant to synchronize. Well, we're back to the solid flash, and it seems like the synchronization has corrected itself, so... Hmm. Obviously, most of you know I'm not a fan of the split pattern, so... We really don't program split patterns, um... At all. I can't remember the last time we used a split pattern on a build. If a customer requests it, I normally am able to talk them out of it. Matter of fact, I had a customer the other day um, request the pinwheel pattern out of um, one of their lights on an ambulance that we were retrofitting and um, I had to sit him down and uh, explain to him the absolute complete waste of money that would be and how ineffective not effective that is out on the roadways and he finally agreed to let me program it another way. <clears throat> I kind of like how these uh, have a simultaneous and an alternating uh, kind of flash to them. Although I know that's them being out of sync, I guess. I'm not sure how these would look after a couple hours of operation.
Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, that is the MS-6. From Working Industries. The MS-6 in green. A super LED surface mount from Brooking Industries. If you guys like this video and would like to see more like it, please smash that thumbs up button. If you have any questions, concerns, requests for equipment you haven't seen yet on the channel, please put those comments uh, down below. We'd love to engage with you guys. We ask that you guys share these videos with your friends, your family, your co-workers, your fellow volunteers, uh, the ladies at the hair salon, the guys at the barber shop. You never know when somebody you know is a service personnel or a first responder that can benefit from our expertise, our equipment offering, or our services. Trying to get it out there that we are the best we are the experts in the industry and um, the more people that we can help and get equipped the more we can keep you guys safe out there we always say your safety is our family's business and that is the truth if you haven't already we ask that you subscribe to the channel if you do subscribe to the channel please make sure you click that icon uh, that bell icon so that you don't miss out on any uploads. Um, I ask that you guys be kind to one another out there. Um, my daughter has a hashtag going around, hashtag be the kind kid. Um, she started that in her third grade elementary school class. Um, they're kindness clubs, so please be kind to one another out there. Until next time. Be safe out there.